What's the most important thing for others to understand about Emery? She has so much to offer. I know sometimes when people meet her, they're a little scared. They're not sure how to act around her. But really, she just wants to have a high five. She wants a hug. I came here, Emery, to be your friend. Thank you for giving me a high five. That was super nice. And I feel like we're good friends now. Just say hello to her and um, maybe <laughs> and she'll open right up, right? Is that true? <laughs> it makes me smile super wide to sit here and be with a new friend and hang out and communicate in our own way. And I love to see your smile <laughs> and hear that laugh. I think you have a beautiful smile that communicates a lot. Welcome to SBSK. We believe that everybody has a story that's worthy of being heard. When we listen to one another, the world becomes a closer place and we all benefit together. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. Emory was born missing 40% of her brain. It never developed in utero. And the part of her brain remaining on the left hemisphere was damaged and it was causing seizures. At that point, the doctor told us that Emory would never sit up by herself. She would never be a part of this world in any way. So that was difficult to hear. You don't prepare for that. You know, as life happens, you just, uh, you, you love each other and um, and so yeah each each curveball that came Emmy Lou's way or Lauren's way um, we just we just I, I think did our best with it by the time we had gone to a new hospital Emery was having about a hundred seizures a day um, and they came in about one day after we had been there and they said we have great news your daughter qualifies for a hemispherectomy we can cut out the remaining portion of her brain on the left side. And they were so excited and that was kind of <laughs> interesting for me, you know, so excited about having brain surgery. She was missing 40% of her brain and they wanted to remove more of it. And I was just thinking, I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> but um, we really did Mama? just jump in feet Mama? first and trust what they said. And Mama? we went for it and it's worked out really well for us so Mama? far. Uh huh. Mama. Uh huh. Mama. Nana. <laughs> Would it be correct to say that Emery's your daughter? Yes. When did you first look at her as your daughter? I would say, oh, probably two and a half years ago or so, right around then, as Laura and I became more serious. Um, I was living in Texas at the time, but we were FaceTiming daily. Um, having a lot of conversations. I think Emery thought I lived on the phone for the longest time. He was just very understanding and he instantly just kind of fell in love with Emery, I think. I would say that's fair. Okay. <laughs> You're messing up your ball. Mommy's gonna get upset. Yeah. Do you two have secrets that mommy doesn't know about? Uh, we definitely have secrets. Um, there have been a few days where I've watched Emery when Lauren's at work, I'll have the day off or whatever the case may be, and Emery stays in pajamas all day, and, and we junk food and candy, and, and you know we don't tell mommy when, when she gets home, we just say it's perfect, we had an acceptable lunch, and maybe we change right before Lauren gets home, but we, we like to have fun. I knew that he instantly fell in love with Emery when I told him that he wanted to hang out Oh, I forgot about this. At my place, he had to get a flu shot, and he went out, I think, the next day mm -hmm. and got a flu shot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I haven't even gotten a flu shot yet, so maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe this guy's pretty serious, and just the way he interacted with her, and he was careful around her, but he wasn't scared of her. Would you want to do a super duper awesome high five? I see that smile. This is one of her favorite games when we beep your nose, right? Beep. 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 <laughs> no, we don't need to play that long, okay? Maybe later. Was she whining because she wanted to keep playing? Yes. Boop, boop. 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 
Boop, boop, boop. It doesn't matter who you are. As a parent, you're, there's times when you're proud of your children, and regardless of what the accomplishment is. Um, sure. So, you know, our, her, her accomplishments are a little different than, than other children's accomplishments, but they're, they're not less important, and they're, they're just as big in our eyes. Yeah, and they, they bring as much excitement and thrill or more. <laughs> <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> what are you most proud of Emory for? Everything. <laughs> I mean, that's, she does so many things that are completely unexpected. And she has her own way of doing... <laughs> she has her own way of doing them, too. We, we go through this a lot. When, when I talk, she also likes to... <laughs> you like to talk when Mommy talks, don't you? When you and Lauren think about Emery's future, how far into the future do you project? That's a good question. Um, Lauren and I have had, you know, conversations. Uh, obviously, you know, we love Emory and we want to make sure that we take care of her the best of our abilities. And I think we both are in, under the same understanding that it's going to be a life, lifelong commitment, but one that we're both, you know, equally excited for. Um, so in our conversations, everything we do or talk about our plan always includes Emory in some fashion. Um, and so it's never a moment we're not planning with Emory in our lives. What are your goals for Emory's future? I think Emery is going to kind of write her own future. So, Mama. yeah, as long as Emery's happy and she is working her hardest, whatever she wants to do, we are going to push her to do it. She's going to, our goal is for her to be the best person she can possibly be. Boop. 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 It was very easy to shower her with love and positivity. Because she's that way. It, she's not hard to get along with. She's, she just is so pleasant. In fact, you said one time, I remember, Emmy never makes you angry. Yeah, and, I, and she was our first grandchild, but I mean, you love your kids, but you realize once in a while they tick you off. <laughs> and as, you know, and are they, there's frustration involved. So, you know, we spent the first few years with Emmy Lou and Lauren and uh, there's never a time where I was frustrated She's with her. She's getting sleepy. <laughs> She's been working hard. You're getting sleepy, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. If you could give yourself one piece of advice when you started the journey of being Emery's dad, what would you say? It's okay to, to push her a little bit, but to, to realize to back off. Um, and just let her be her. You know, she's a, a, a growing child and, and kids will be kids and, and she's going to do what she wants to do. But um, so my advice would just be to, to let Emery be Emery and, and uh, continue to love and support her. A lot of people comment on how cute she is. That's something we receive daily, but they don't know how to interact with her because she's nonverbal. Um, sometimes her eyes make some movements. That's her nystagmus. So that scares them a little bit. And they also know once they get to know her that she has epilepsy so they're scared that something they do could cause a seizure or she might have a seizure around them and they're not sure how to respond to that so it makes people nervous to be around her because they're not sure what's going to happen and they're not sure how to interact with her and i appreciate you leading our interaction you're making me feel like i'm your friend and that makes me smile super wide, too. What's it like for you when you see Emery smile? Oh, it's just the best thing in the world. I just, I can't even um, explain it. She's just, she has the sweetest little smile, too. And knowing that she's happy is the most important thing for me. My goal is just that she's happy mm -hmm. and I see us being happy however that looks. You know, I'm not... Not too worried about it because as long as she's happy, I'm gonna be pretty happy. And him. How often do you worry about Emery? <sighs> um, a lot, but not, I don't think it's because of her, her disability. I think it's more so being a first time parent. Um, I think more so around the lines of 
you know, how is she doing at school? Is she, you know, eating things she's not supposed to be eating? Is she drinking enough? Is she eating enough? So I'm more worried about, I think, what I'm assuming most parents worry about. Oh, is she sad? Well, I think she's just kind of tired. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Emery loves to read books. That's probably one of her favorite things in the world. Can I check to see if she'd let me read her a book? Sometimes that brightens her up. Yeah, of course. Oh, she picked your book, honey. Oh, hey, do you want Grandma to read you a book? You want to turn the page? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My grandma is my bestest so, friend. Yeah, didn't that neat? We love to play together. Mama. Do you want to see Nana? Mama. <laughs> Mama. Does she ask for her nana a lot? Yes. <laughs> my grandma is my bestest friend. She always makes me giggle. And when she sings and plays guitar, I always start to wiggle. <laughs> do you want to turn the page? Okay. What do you two say to Emery when you kiss her goodnight? Lauren, sing your song. I love you more than unicorns. I love you more than chocolate. I love you more than rainbows. Say, hey, mama, stop it. Lauren will sing her song, and then I, you know, when you try to give, put Emery to bed, she wants to give you a kiss, and then she wants to talk to you for a while. So Lauren will sing to her, and then I tell her, hey, I, I can't sing you song, but I still love you. Mm -hmm. You know, sweet dreams. Yeah. And then when we leave the room, I always say, love you. I'm so yeah. proud of you. When other people meet Emery, I just want them to see a happy four-year-old girl who is so similar to other four-year-olds. Um, she might look different a little bit, <laughs> but she is just like him <laughs> in so many ways. Don't be afraid to ask about, you know, how she's doing and, and allow us to share our proud moments as well, you know, because we all, as grandparents, we all want to talk about our grandchildren. So, um, we, uh, yeah. she is, she's a joy. You don't need to feel sorry for her because she is living a very full life. And it's a little bit different, it's a little different of a life, but it's very full and it's different in a lot of cool ways, right? You get to experience a lot of things mm -hmm. that other people don't get to. Like be on this. Thanks for watching SBSK. Click subscribe here to be part of our community. Then hit the notification bell below so you never miss a story. You can even meet another friend here. See you next time.